Once you're ready to share your program, click on Publish. And it will take you to a page with all of your organizations and groups. If you don't have any groups yet that you've created, click on Create Group. Here you can give your group a name. And it's important to note that once you create your group, the program is still not necessarily shared with that group. So what you have to do is select it and then click Save Changes. Now that it's saved, this program has been added to that group. Another thing that's important to note is you are not part of this group if you do not add yourself. The reason that is is that once you make a program, you can have lots of groups going through it with different facilitators that you don't need to be involved with and it doesn't need to fill up your homepage. But if you want to facilitate a program or be involved with it, you need to add yourself. So the way we're going to do that is click on the three dots and click on invite learners. And here you can invite somebody to this group by putting in their email or you can copy the link and share it with them. So again, if you want to be able to see what's going on, make sure that you click invite and add your own email. One other thing that's important to note is that this link is the group link, which means that any program that's been added to that group, when somebody clicks on this link, they'll be at, they will get access to all of those programs. If you want to give someone just the program link, the way that you do that is you go to your homepage and you find the group that you have added for yourself. So you'll see that right here. Here's the group and here's the program. And so when you click on the three dots next to the program for that specific group and you go to invite participants, this code here, you'll notice it says course ID. This link will take people directly to this program within the group rather than all of the programs you've added to that group. So this is how you share directly to just a single program. And that is how you share. Um, just another thing to, to note, the names underneath the programs are important. So the sandbox is the master. Um, this is just the master copy. And then each time you make a group, you'll see their group name under the program. And that's where you'll add individuals to each group so that they're interacting around that program with just the people in their group. So you could have as many groups going through this program as you would like.